Uh, like you said, uh, I knew it from before he's been in Columbus. So uh, obviously when uh, we came to the situation with me getting bought out and uh, I'm looking at free agency, he was one of the first people to reach out to me. And like I said, I, I know him pretty well. He talked about uh, with the team, with the organization, everything. And I mean, I, I'm just super excited for the opportunity right here. I'll say right away when he was talking about it and just knowing from playing against Florida, I feel like it's, it's really interesting the team right there. And uh for me, I mean, obviously, it's it's a stressful day, a lot of phone calls, a lot of things happening, but uh, I couldn't be happy with the results. So. It, it's it's something else for sure. Uh, I didn't know about getting bought out uh, before, like, I don't know, like, 1st of October. So it happened pretty quick. And just to take the whole thing in, like, you're getting bought out, a new team, a new situation, go free agency, it's it's a roller coaster for sure. But I'm also really excited for it. I mean, for me, it felt like I, I need a new place, someone who wants to believe in me, wants to, wants me to play that type of way. And uh, I mean, looking at Florida right there, I, I couldn't find a better option right there. And uh, like you said, though, it's crazy. But right now with everything that happened, I'm, I'm so psyched about it. And uh, I'm so excited for it to get started. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, for me, it just obviously, uh, I feel like I have a lot more to bring. Last couple of years have been kind of a couple of down years for me. And I feel like uh, for me personally, obviously you want to, Right now coming in and like you said a jump start but i feel like i have a potential to be better and also help the organization team that wants me and if they believe in me and uh that's pretty much how florida right there i feel like this is a great opportunity for me a great opportunity for them as well to like you said i feel like it could be a really good fit and um like i said it, it, right now it's, it's a lot of thing happening and it's a lot of emotions but i feel like for me personal and hockey wise this is this is the place i want to be yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, it's ironic how it works. All of a sudden, uh, we talked to the teams, and uh, Nudevara from the former team just uh, got traded there. You know Bob from before. And uh, Hornquist is there, a guy I played with in World Champions. Obviously, it's uh, it's really nice to have those guys, so you know, from before. But uh, obviously, that's, that's comforting. But just for me, looking at the team and looking where the team is heading in that direction and what they wanted for me, I, I feel like this was the place I wanted to be. And... Obviously, it's, it's a great place, Florida, a nice place of living. And uh, Bill Cito, with the conversation we had, I talked to the coach as well. So I'm, I'm super excited. And uh, I mean, obviously, it's a tough choice. But uh, looking back at it, uh, it, was, it was easy looking back at it. Yeah, I would say, I mean, obviously, it was different playing in the bubble, uh, different circumstances. Playoffs hockey was uh, a little bit more intense. But I will say the series against Tampa, I felt like I was finding – Finding that level uh, I want to play at, uh, I was more comfortable with the puck. I was skating better. I was uh, being more of a threat, which is, I feel like the offensive game is one of my strengths. So obviously that's uh, coming back and playing there. I feel like that was a really good play for me. But I mean, there's there's a lot of things. Uh, I feel like Columbus and the fit I have there it wasn't really working out with all that. And for me to get a fresh start, uh, new organization, new coach, new team. I feel like it could be something that could uh, could be really good for me. So, yeah, I mean, so far it, it, it happens pretty quick, but I got Barkov, I got Yandel reaching out to me, welcoming to the team and uh, just that type of, I mean, the leaders of the team and give you that welcome. It's it's really, really good to start. And like I said, no guys from before, Hornquist talked to me as well. So just the feeling right now, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked and happy. And like I said, the welcome to the team has been excellent. So I'm excited to get things started and you know, I mean, get ready to pack my stuff and move there. So uh, that's the next chapter in life. Yeah, I mean, my dog is a little bit more shy, shy than I am. So it was really important for me for her to have a friend. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, obviously, obviously, it's, 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 it's so fun. I mean, I'm really close friends with Nudie and uh, with his girlfriend. So uh to have the dogs there and i know my fiance is going to be really excited to i mean obviously the hockey part is the big thing and that's what i'm looking forward to but i think it's really important to have that uh comfort and feel uh, wherever you end up that you're uh feeling good about it so like i said everything right now it just feels like it's a perfect match yeah absolutely and like i said i feel like uh, my situation in columbus wasn't it wasn't helping me. It wasn't helping the team as well in Columbus. I feel like it wasn't the best fit. So right now to have a, a different different team, like I said, Columbus is the only team I played in the NHL before. So I, I don't know anything else. So right now to have new organization, new team and experience new things, this is something I'm, uh, I'm really excited about. And I feel like it could be, like I said, fresh start. Obviously, it's a good thing, but uh, I feel just 
just how how this year and uh, coming into this, it's something that I feel like it's going to help me to be a better person, be a better hockey player. And uh, I mean, like I said, I'm I'm super excited about him. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, like I said, the conversation I had with him, and I I mean, he sees me. He even seen me when I play my best in Columbus and also my worst. But it's also good to have a guy like him. That's I mean, he he's not gonna be easy on me just because I'm a former Columbus. I feel like he's going to push me more. And I feel like it's good to have that to become a better player. I feel like you need a push from the, is it the GM or the coach. And I feel like this, uh, this coaching staff and uh, the leaderships here, it's really going to be good at that. So, I mean, obviously time will tell, but I feel like right now it's, it's a great feeling looking at him. Yeah. Right now I'm, uh, I'm back home in Sweden. So uh, uh, like I said, the next chapter is that you're going to, Close everything in Columbus, uh, get rid of the stuff there with the place you have and uh, start looking at places to live in Florida. And right now it's great. We're training, stepping on the ice and getting ready for the season. Obviously, it's a little bit with the uh, time here with the Corona. It's a little bit of a challenge with uh, how it's going to end up when you leave and stuff like that. But right now it feels like January 1st. So right now you're setting a date and uh, I'm just super excited to head over and get to Florida. Uh, yeah, hi. How are you doing? Um, obviously really excited uh, when I started my career in Florida and uh, you know uh, I was pretty uh, uh, pretty happy with uh, with uh, the interest of the team and uh, you know uh, it wasn't really a big decision for me it was easy it was easy decision for me as a it's a great team with a great coach so um, looking forward to uh, join them and start it um, yeah obviously it's it's part of my game and uh, you know it's been a big pause for uh, for me and uh, you know um, the few games that we were able to play, you know, it wasn't uh, was enough. So I'm really excited to get going and, you know, um, working hard to be in the best shape that I can be and uh, play the tough physical role that uh, uh, I'm going to get. So um, looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, um, I always, uh, always look forward to play the physical game and make sure the teams don't like coming in our building. Yeah, well, it was, uh, was something we talked about, you know, they, they want somebody that plays hard every night that is tough to play against and, uh, you know, I enjoy myself playing hard in these zones. So um, if I can do that for uh, for the new team, you know, I'm um, willing to take on that role and looking forward to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy to do that. Yeah, obviously it's, um, his reputation or his, uh, his record speaks for itself. So, uh, you know, that was one of the, one of the reasons what I, uh, what I wanted to, uh, or why why I decided to to come down there, and uh, you know, it's it's going to be a huge learning process for me, and I'm looking forward to that. So uh, we spoke yesterday a little bit, and I'm really excited uh, to be part of this team. I mean, it's uh, it's always hard, you know, to get used to a different system, but uh, after after a few a uh, few preseasons in the training camp, I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to come pretty easy to be in the right spot in the right moment and make sure that uh, there's no easy entrance in our zone and uh, you know, being being just hard to uh, to play against, and guys don't want to be crashing the net. You know, so uh, obviously we talked about it, and I worked with it, uh, uh, worked on it my whole career to be better and better. And uh, you know, uh, lucky enough for uh, for uh, for me, I can uh, I can do that the next three years for the new team. Obviously, I um, played with Brett Connolly in Tampa for a little bit. You know, we got traded on the same day from Tampa, so we always kept connection. I think we had a uh, we became pretty good friends, and you know I played with Anto Strahlman, and uh, you know I uh, know uh, Patty Hornquist from a little bit for a little bit playing against each other, and uh, uh, a couple of guys reached out to me too. So a um, few good connections, and I'm looking forward to to make new ones. Yeah, it's definitely been a crazy last couple of weeks. I mean, uh, kind of achieving my uh, childhood dream, and then uh, then a week later maybe signing with a different team like. It's been pretty crazy, but I'm so excited to be a part of uh, Florida Panthers. And yeah, it's just been uh, awesome. I think it's just a great team, great young team. And uh, pretty much just he liked my game and uh, wanted to bring me in. And it, it, it seemed like a really good fit. It's, uh, it's great weather down here. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty easy move. So uh, I can just pack up stuff and just uh, drive the four hours. So. It's uh, so nice. I'm familiar with the division and everything like that. So it, it makes it so much easier. From a couple of guys, uh, Brett Conley reached out. Same with uh, Keith Yandel. I think uh, uh, Brett played with, uh, he played in Tampa. So the guys know him here. And uh, 
yeah, they said uh, the guys here, I think they're, they're pretty familiar with some of the guys that play, play in Florida. So they said it's a great group, uh, the great guys on the team, and they're, they're really excited and the, the, they think I'll have a blast there. So I'm really excited to get things going there. Uh, I mean, uh, in today's day and age, like no team can ever stay together. So I think everyone just wants what's best for me. And it's obviously uh, the experience this year is something I'll never forget and with those guys. And I mean, uh, it's going to be an awesome fresh start. This year is uh, a little different for me. I was uh, kind of coming on to a stack team and playing a little different role than I have been in the past. But I think with me, it's kind of like every year just kind of getting better and kind of using my skill and stuff. And I think it's great because I'm going to get more opportunity and uh, it's kind of up to me what I do with it. So I'm just really excited and ready to get going. Thanks. It's huge. Like this year was such a learning experience for me and playing with all these great players and winning the cup and uh, just on that playoff run, you kind of, you kind of get to know what it takes to, to win in this league. And I mean, uh, I can't say enough about how everyone was in the playoffs. And I mean, it's such a learning experience for me and playing my first Stanley Cup playoffs and win the cup is just something special. And definitely uh, you take all the learning experiences and try and bring them wherever you go. So uh, it, it kind of depends on what happens, but probably at least a couple of weeks to kind of recharge. And it's nice uh, doing it in this weather. I think but like back home, it's, getting pretty cold so I can just kind of relax by the pool out here and I mean um, yeah I'll take a take a couple weeks off and then hopefully uh, get everything moved down to, to Fort Lauderdale in uh, a couple weeks and get settled in and start uh, training with the new team uh, wherever they put me they put me the last couple of years I've been playing wing but I mean uh, wherever they put me uh, I'm gonna do my best and uh, try and uh, yeah I mean the last couple of years wing but I mean, uh, I'm definitely more comfortable with wing, but I can play center too. I played center a lot, so it's uh, good having that. For sure, I, I've done it once uh, on our on our break this year. I, I drove the, to the drive to Miami for a couple of days, so it's a pretty cool drive, actually. I've never seen those Gators up close like that. So I'd, I'd actually like to go back and I'd like to do one of those uh, boat tours with the, the wind boat. I think that would be cool, or the fan boat. That'd be really cool.